I'm going to demonstrate Nearpod today with a teacher and student view. The teacher view is on the left, the student view is on the right. I'm going to go ahead and head towards my library and select my presentation. Ooh, first, I need to publish it before I can do a live session for students. Published, and now let's head towards our live session. Excellent. This is the code students need to enter now to join this session. So over here in my student view, I'm going to click on I'm a student and go ahead and enter the pin. Students get to enter a name for themselves. Sam, I guess. Alrighty, and we are now ready to start. So keep in mind, students, if they enter your class late, the pen is also up here. I do control everything they're going to see on their screens. It's a live session. Vocabulary. As you see, the student sees exactly what I do. Now we see different things. This is our first interactive content. This is a poll. Keep in mind, polling, you do not have a correct answer in. So if a student does select an answer, it thanks them you'll get information on what answers were selected. So this chart is showing me that 100% have chosen C. However, it is not going to be grading their answers in any way. It's more for opinion base or if you're just gauging where the class is at. You would have to do a quiz based question to enter a correct answer. All right, so as a teacher, I'm going to go ahead and move on. And the students, of course, move on as well. All right, here's some more content, more information. And now we're on draw something. This is my favorite element of the application. I in, I made this in Microsoft Word, I believe. It's just a simple matching section where I ask students to draw the, a line from the person to the description that matches them. All right, we'll pretend like that's done. And send it off. The teacher is going to get a thumbnail version of this, which is great because if you have 20, 30 students, as many classes are, uh, you can quickly view and get an idea of where students are at. And now let's proceed. Here's a short answer based question. I put a photo, ask the question up here, and students have this content box to answer. The, an ooh, the answer is here, I hope, and go ahead and send. And again, the teacher will get the answers lined up here. Uh, of course, there's no automatic grading with short answer. Now in the teacher window, I'm going to go ahead and keep going. Ah, this is a quiz question, meaning I did enter a correct answer for it. So what is an impresario? Let's say the student was wise and they know that it is a recruiter for colonists and they send that off and here we are i see sam answer d the chart shows me that a hundred percent of my class got that correct obviously since sam is is the only part of my class right now 